Here we go again, guys. 7.30, nice little socks again. And she was like, oh, I have seen you before, the one who was helping. So I was like, yeah, a few weeks ago. I have so much energy. Good job. See you guys. We have a lot of local people. Wat een verlossing. Nice eyeshadow look. Hey guys. Prachtig. We doen het wel even koel en zo. Wij gaan de vijfstelling wel hoor. Dan denk je niet aan mij, laten we die, hè? Mannetje? Luxie. Hi. How do you feel? Hoppa. You want to sit here or there? Yeah, here is okay. It's okay. Is that not my hair that's taken from me? <laughs> Look at you. I have my first cup of coffee, of course. How do you feel? Any pain? <laughs> no, I'm not in pain. I can do a marathon if you want, and I can do push ups. Push-ups. Yeah. I changed my clothes. I peed. By the way, I woke up without underwear. <laughs> <laughs> they took off my underwear during the surgery. You didn't felt it. No, I don't know why. I need to ask them because why? Why do they take off my underwear? I said I have to pee, and then the nurse was like, "Maybe it's good to t put on some underwear." I was like. I went into surgery with underwear and my underwear was here. I was like, so I need to ask them because. Who took your underwear? Why did they take off my underwear? Did they thought it was like an OnlyFans or something? Coffee. Your Highness is waiting. Give me medication. Hello? Sorry, the queen is coming home. My first walk. No, we're going to have a rundown. Okay. Yeah. You may just wait for the doctor. Yeah, but we're going to have a good time. Yeah. Ga zelf een rondje joggen. The sun is shining, we're back, back, back at again. I feel like the Mona Lisa. So, out of surgery, the sun is shining, feeling rough. Hey. They said the sun is nice and it is nice, the area is nice, look, trees, the woods. Happy Halloween! Oh. <laughs> Imagine if that person could be... I can be like living advertisement here in the, in the yards. Come and get your free consultation. You will look like this.
Yeah, we're gonna have a nice little walk. We're now gonna wait for the last check of the surgeon. I'm still high. <laughs> have a little headache coming up, but that is normal because they ruined my forehead. They opened it up like freaking Einstein. Maybe they are looking for me, probably not, they forget me. My right or die. Well, I think. I want to see the surgeon. They asked me if I want to see the surgeon. Well, of course I want to see the surgeon. See you guys in a bit. So right now we are dismissed from the clinic. We just saw the surgeon. Tomorrow we are allowed to take the bandage off, and I am allowed to wash my hair, not with soap, just with medium temperature water because there might be some blood risk in my hair. Right now it's really hard to open my eyes as you can see it's like really a task to open them just for the sake of the information. I feel a little bit like nauseous as normal after anesthesia. I don't have any pains, they did a prescription on pain medication to build up the, I don't know how you say it, kind of a barrier to reduce the pain. I have to take the antibiotics when I get home. The eye cream is not necessary because that one is more for scar tissue. Now we're waiting to get picked up by our driver and then we get back home and rest. I will inform you guys on everything along the way, but thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support and all the lovely messages that I keep on getting. You guys are amazing. See you guys very soon. Bye-bye. We done. We are done. A little bit dizzy. Let's see if my friend Siggy is gonna answer the phone. This is Siggy. He is in my vlog right now. Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> I love it. Yes. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Hi, <laughs> oh my god. Now you want Hello, hello. Welcome back. It's time to take a nap for, I don't know, goodbye. What do we think? Fashion. <laughs> Seventy two hours post of surgery, and this is the first official day that i can open my eyes because as you can see this is not it my stitches are all the way up here it goes i don't want to go into graphic details because i think for most of you all this is shocking enough so i'm not going to show any stitches but know that this stitch is going all the way to the back same as this side what did they do a lot of you guys ask me on instagram everywhere Lux, oh my god, what did you do? Yeah, what did I do? Some moments of the day, I even regret doing this. But here we go. Especially the first two days, I didn't film anything. Didn't film a lot because, you know, 
this is the first day that I can actually open my eyes. I'm using a lot of cool packs to cool my eyes and my face is swollen. Capital letters, swollen. <laughs> so what did I do? They opened my head from here. They broke my forehead. They took a piece out of my forehead. They shaved it. Same with my brow bone they shaved it they did a foxy eye lift and they lowered my hairline and this is the result guys i'm gonna give you some details on how am i feeling well it can be better than this right for everyone who is going through the same surgery don't be afraid you will look like this because you will no escape from that i think there's still dry blood here but hey, who knows i don't know so before this, I had some videos that I was like a little blue and I was like, okay, this is it. Haha, <laughs> got you. I'm better off again. My nose was good. So this is like piece of cake. Well, Lord, was I wrong. I'm now drinking a lot of water. Uh, the first night I couldn't sleep at all because there the stitches are on the side and I'm laying on my side of my face. I'm sleeping a lot during the day because at night it's rough. It is rough. Uh, but like I said, it's getting better. I'm looking pretty, if I can say so myself. I don't have pain. I'm just tired. I'm just, it's uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. I cannot say this enough during the day, but it's uncomfortable. Especially the first two days when your eyes are closed. You get annoyed by everything. You get a headache real fast. So that's why I take your painkillers, please. Don't think you're a tough cookie because you're not. Take your painkillers, drink a lot of water. And I would recommend put an ice pack, like it's now in the freezer, so I cannot show you maybe later. Put that thing on your eyes because the first night I didn't because I thought, okay, I'm good. Yeah, no. Uh. So please listen to me. If you do the surgery, listen to me. Listen, put an ice pack on your eyes because it will reduce this situation today is day five five of recovery and as you can see still a hot mess next week they're gonna remove the stitches and my forehead is still swollen it's hard guys it's hard for everyone who says it's easy try to do it yourself i have respect for everyone who did their ffs now i understand the whole process of the ffs everyone who went through it i didn't understand you but now i understand you this is not it not it if i had the chance to do it all over again i don't know if i would have done this because again this ain't it today is a bit better i'm still swollen here as you can see, I want to update you guys, but there is not to update a lot. I will try to create more and more during the day. The headache is there. My pain limit is really high, really, really high. And after the first day, I thought this, I got this. No, no, I didn't got this. From all of my surgeries, my SRS was a piece of cake. My breast augmentation, piece of cake. Nose job <sighs> with this. You will not be prepared for this surgery, no matter how much, no matter how much videos you have watched, no matter how much research you did. This feeling can't be described in a video. And I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best to tell you guys what's going on, but I can't. I cannot tell you what is going on. Your eyes are like, you feel like kind of trapped in your eyes because your eyes are like, mm -hmm. your head is like fully numb. My senses in my forehead are starting to come back. So I kind of feel something, but the only thing I can feel is my eyebrows. The stitches all the way to your back, they are like a pain in the ass. I can tell you that the pain in your ass. You feel like a swollen balloon. You want to do so much, but you can't. Well, at least I because I want to do so much and I cannot find energy. My body's trying to get rest. My body's trying to heal itself. And here I am trying to stay awake and that is not helping. I have a lot of painkillers, which are sort of kind of helping, but it's not actually pain. It's like really discomfort. It's like trapped. It's like 
I think there's a word like claustrophobia or I don't know how you say it in English, but it's where you feel trapped and you cannot be in like small spaces or something if you have that good luck with this. So today is Saturday and it's currently six days post up FFS surgery. I'm showing you what I look like after six days of recovery on my forehead reduction, brow bone shave, eyebrow lift and hairline reduction. Just for the sake of this video, I'm gonna show you. This is the whole stitch is going all the way to the back as you can see. I'm recovering pretty good. I am really, really happy. My forehead is like how I want it to be. My eyebrows are really up. Like they're, my normal eyebrow was here. So they did a good job. I have a couple of days of antibiotics left and we will see about that. After looking back, of course, it was really, really, really difficult for me because i thought it would have been different after all my surgeries so i thought it would be easier but don't underestimate this guys for now i'm still taking a lot of rest i haven't been outside for a week <laughs> do you think i'm going to the grocery store like this oh hell no in this week my whole face changed every day bit by bit and my forehead and my nose is like my nose got even smaller and i cannot wait to put makeup on again and just go outside for all of you who know me just going outside have my daily iced americano i have really amazing support and i think without him and without my friends calling me every day this will be really 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 rough really rough thank you guys so much so much for all the love there are people reaching out to me who i didn't expect to reaching out to me people who i thought were reaching out to me but didn't Thank you too. This process really, really shows me who is there and who is not there. I came really close to myself and whoever didn't show up for me now. And to be honest, like everyone has their own life. Like, don't get me wrong. Everyone has their own life, but let's be honest too. Like you can send just a message. Um, so yeah, I'm really closing off a chapter, closing off people, closing off like my old, old me, delete the old version of me, if you will. <laughs> because you will not have access to the new me. Yeah, it's it's a journey and I'm really happy with the people that are there for me. Like, let's stay positive and, and focus on the positivity. Thank you for all the people who did show up for me, who called me, who reached out to me and who are there for me just in general. Like, hey, look, it's a new year, literally new me and I'm not going to be bothered by anyone anymore. So this video will be closed. Thank you so, 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 so much for everyone. And let's make this a good year full of love and true friendships. And my boyfriend who did everything for me and just like try to praise him a bit, like just show him a little little more love because he did everything for me made me food brought me to bed took care of me when i couldn't when i couldn't open my eyes he was there for me and he still is and probably he will see this and thank you so much without you i couldn't have done this this you're really in my heart thank you so much Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you made it this far. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.